Hey there everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna make it very fast and I'm gonna be straightforward how you can add slash commands and a little help about what slash commands are and how you can use them. So slash commands, how you can get them into your uh, discord.py project. So it's literally easy. First of all, we have to go on your on ready and sync all the commands. So what does sync all the commands mean? Uh, all your commands, your slash commands needs to be synced, needs to be saved and they're like uh, has to be updated in all the servers and need to be acknowledged by Discord or Discord API. I'll just say Discord. So we're gonna await in our uh, on ready function the bot dot tree and we're gonna sync the tree if you have this called bot it's literally a variable you can change it to whatever you want you can call this like i don't know like medi dot event it doesn't matter at all you can change this to whatever you want just add don't add like a number in front of it and all good so uh so we say we're gonna uh sync all the commands but let's uh do something cool for example so what will this do is um if you this will sync all the commands but this uh function also returns a list of uh, like all the commands that have been synced so how can we retrieve them or you know how can we know how many commands were synced so all we have to do is for example put this in a variable and we call it like sync uh, command and we can print for example uh, slash command sync and the how many is the len of the list pretty basic the python stuff the len of the synced command list or we can do something like for each like command and sync commands list we're gonna print the command name to see if it worked or not we'll just print in the command and something like uh this command has been synced and like this uh, let's just add slash commands or like more like synced it will say sync for example five slash commands or something like that so let's get back here to uh this command it's gonna say this command has been synced and it's gonna tell us the command name right here for example we have uh, like set welcome message and all so uh let's start on how we can do this first of all we have to change not much but the events uh we can keep them because they don't really use uh, interaction interactions like our uh, slash commands interactions so we can keep these events but what we need to change is for example this set welcome message the all the commands literally all the commands all right so let's start off by the set welcome message First of all, we have to let the sync or add this uh, command to our tree, to our slash commands tree. How to do this? We use the bot.tree.command and we need to give it a name, the name of this one, and we need to give it a description probably and description like set welcome message. so for the this we'll just get rid of the star we don't need the star anymore and we need to make this message mandatory if you don't want it to be mandatory we'll just like add something like if message like if message is there's an actual message we'll just make the welcome message that message else we'll just wake make the welcome message our default welcome message here where is it where is it our default welcome message nothing too hard it's really simple if we if we put in the message here if you like type in the message box that's gonna appear later on i'm gonna show you it will just uh set the welcome message as that message we inputted else it will just reset it and we'll let's just do something like custom message has been set and like welcome message has been reset to default and that will work perfectly now moving on to the ctx context so we we're gonna have to change it to a new method on how we're gonna interact with the slash command we'll just literally call it for example interact or interaction and it's gonna be the of the discord interactions interaction here we go after that we'll just change this ctx to the new interaction dot send uh thing yeah dot response the response we're gonna get and the message uh send message here yep that's it now we'll just same for the rest get this uh set up the interaction here the cd interaction interactions here set welcome channel set welcome channel and you can add the your error error handling if like channel id doesn't exist and everything else i'll just show you the basics how you can work this out the same for hello we'll just add in our interaction and it's literally the same for every single message 
but there's some stuff like this uh, message that add reaction first of all we just have to add in our change the ctx with that change the ctx dot send this and it's gonna change to our command this too and this too the command says welcome message to hello says hello and here react to your message here basic embed gonna send us a basic embed then basic embed and here advanced embed then advanced embed now let's do a quick recap and what we did so we updated the message the interaction here this is also updated is dated we're gonna test them later on so for this one the tree the react is a little bit different we can't just react on the message we sent we have to get the original response our response and then add in a, in a variable then add a reaction to that response other than that we're pretty it's pretty same for the rest of the messages interaction response that message Make the message hidden like for example we want to send the pink in a hidden message only us can see it we will just add in the interaction to send message or we can for example do it here or whatever you want or just a basic embed we'll just make the ephemeral true i don't know why they called ephemeral but we'll just call it ephemeral and it needs to be true it's false by default you just need to make it true which will basically make the message hidden only you can see it when you run the command so now let's uh, just run the bot and test our command it looks like we got a little error here yeah, it's not a big problem we just need to put it as a string and here we go this command has been synced this command has been synced all the commands are here we got seven slash commands it's our total of commands seven so yeah let's just test them out so if you do slash you will see here in the youtube tutorial here we go we got the advanced embed basic embed hello ping react and ever so let's start with the advanced embed let's advanced embed and here we go it sends the our advanced embed let's do slash basic embed and it should it should as you can see here only you can see this this is a hidden message you can dismiss and hide this message message let's do it again only us can see this message because we set the ephemeral to true now let's go uh we're on with the next one which is hello i did the silly mistake here it's not interaction.author but it's interaction.user which is the user who sent the message now as you can see it's blue it it recognized it so just restart our bot and go back and do our testing and we're gonna run hello again let's wait for it and as you can see here it said hello many mmo now let's carry on to our ping it says of our bot latency then the react and it did add the reaction our set welcome channel id and it just need to be an integer we forgot to remove that little uh, star over there let's start back again and do channel id and we'll paste in our channel id and just a random id there and you can see it's work we just need to put in it doesn't matter i just skip to uh set welcome message so as I said, this is an option. As you can see, it's gonna say an option. So if you just press enter, it will tell you welcome message has been reset to default. But if we set the welcome message to something, for example, X, it will say custom message has been set and the X, which is the message. And I think hopefully our last command, or I think we finished off our last command. Yep. We did all our commands. I got a lot of uh, comments of they wanting to see how they can do the uh, slash command. So we don't have much content for this. We don't have. Uh, I was planning on making multiple videos. Then uh, like doing this slash commands. We're gonna have to rewrite stuff. I'm gonna show you more stuff. But we'll just do it as we are going in the future. I hope you liked this video. If you did and enjoyed and you were satisfied with the information in this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more content i'll be posting at least once a week i don't know about when but at least i'm gonna be posting once a week leave me leave in the comments below what you want to see next and yeah that's it see you in the next video and happy coding as always